welcome back everybody to another drawing lesson with Miss Knudsen. Today we are going to warm up our knowledge of the elements of shape by doing another Simon Says game. We're also going to use our new knowledge of the elements of shape to do some pictures on worksheets as well as some abstraction. We're going to practice that today. So um, without a lot of talking, I want to get to it. So the first thing I want to do is our Simon Says game. And this time I will have um, the instructions for what to do come up on the screen here and you can draw it on your paper. Um, also for the worksheets and the things that we are doing today, hopefully I will have those um, it, uh, below this video to print out or you can use your Mona Brooks Drawing with Children book to uh, find the images we're going to use today. So let's get to it. Simon says take two fine tip pens and draw four straight lines. They must start at one end of your paper and go to the other end. Simon says, take a broad tip marker and create three dots. Make sure the dots are all different sizes. Simon says, take a fine tip marker and make a circle that touches one of your dots in any way. Simon says, Take a fine tip marker and make two angled lines on your paper. Start on one edge of your paper and run off the other for both angled lines. Simon says, take a broad tip marker and make a curved line that starts at one of your dots and goes off the paper. Simon says for a special challenge, Start in the same place you did before, make another curved line, and have it run off the paper in a completely different place. All right, Simon Says participants. That was our Simon Says warm-up game. Now, if the instructions moved a little bit too fast for you, please feel free to go back and repeat the game and hit the pause button anytime you need a little bit more time to complete each step. The point is not to win the game, of course. The point is to create a drawing that's completely unique from anybody else's, but based on the same directions and based on our understanding of the elements of shape. So have fun. The last step of your Simon Says challenge is to decorate your drawing however you wish. If you want to fill in the spaces with different colors, if you want to put patterns, designs, your favorite animal, your name, Finish it up and make a completely unique um, elements of shape drawing. There's nothing wrong with creating something that is based on uh, certain criteria, but changing it up to make it your own. That's a really important skill to learn as an artist. Hello, artists. I'm here with Tessa again. And um, she's going to help me show you the next um, worksheets and um, instruction that we're going to have for our drawing lesson. So uh, now that we're all warmed up from a game of Simon Says with the elements of shape, we're going to use our knowledge of the elements of shape for some different exercises. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, Tessa, are you ready? Yes. Okay. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a mirror uh, worksheet warm-up. Mm -hmm. All right, this, if you happen to have Mona Brooks Drawing with Children book, it is on page 69. So if you have a copier or if you just want to draw in your book, that's up to you, um, it's on that page. So what this is, is it's going to help you um, use the elements of shape to create a mirror image 
of what the line is doing on one side, okay? So what I want you to practice is creating the mirror image of the line on the opposite side of the empty space, okay? Going to be able to stay awake through this one, Tess? Yes. Okay. So the trickiest part is making your brain work so that you do the opposite of what you see, much like a mirror, okay? And even with this video I'm shooting right now, you guys are seeing the backwards image of this worksheet. So in your book, and when you make a copy for yourself, you will see um, it a little differently. <clears throat> anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask Tessa to do her best to do a mirror image of this uh, worksheet, okay? So let's get started on that one. Notice how the example has a center line. See if you can make the line go in the mirror image of what it's doing. Kind of makes your brain work, huh? Doing good. Keep it up, Tess. Okay, so if you've completed your mirror image worksheet, which this one, was it easy or hard, Tessa? What was it? It was hard. Tessa said it was hard. So be patient with yourself if you had a hard time too. We recommend using a pencil, right, Tessa? Yes, okay. So um, we did the four exercises here. There's two more spaces. If you really like this exercise, you can create a shape on one side and try to challenge yourself to do the mirror image. Two original designs, okay? The next worksheet that I want you guys to practice is this one. And it actually has real pictures, okay? They're not abstractions, they're real pictures. So you can use all the elements of shape to do this worksheet, okay? So you've got, <clears throat> and again, mine's gonna be backwards probably for you guys looking, but you've got circles and dots, you've got curved, you've got angled lines, you have all of the elements of shape in this chart. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna take the image and there's a blank square next to it, and you're gonna do your absolute best to copy that little, in, that picture into the other square. Okay, Tessa? Now, you can use a pencil again, but remember, we're learning how to draw, not learning how to erase. So don't spend your time beating yourself up to get it perfect because you're not a copying machine. I already have a copy machine. I can make another copy of this if I want. You don't need to be a copy machine. You need to learn how to make these shapes yourself, okay? So do your best and remember that you're not a copy machine. You're just learning how to use the elements of shape to draw real life pictures, okay? So get started and give this one a try. All righty. Well, it looks like Tessa has finished her other worksheet with all the pictures that are very recognizable for the elements of shape. You did a good job, Tess, good job. Okay, notice that Tessa filled out all of the drawings in the squares next to them. Which one was the hardest one, Tessa? You wanna to point to it? The sneaker, all right. I do believe that the drawings get increasingly more difficult as you get down to like the bottom corner. All right. Now this page is also in Mona Brooks textbook. Let me see. It's on page 76. So if you have a printer copier or if you would like to draw in your book, you can find this worksheet on page 76 of Mona Brooks Drawing with Children. I challenge you guys to try both of these worksheets 
after practicing the Simon Says, doing that challenge with us, and then do the mirror image worksheet challenge. And then we have this worksheet with images that you can copy the elements of shape um, right next to uh, the image. So you're not a copier, but you are practicing the elements of shape. So guys, this was a uh, drawing lesson to warm you up to more elements of shape. And next time we get together, we are going to do a lesson on birds. So uh, keep practicing your elements of shape. Keep making funny faces at cameras and practice these worksheets. And um, we will see you next time when we have a drawing lesson, practicing our elements of shape. You gonna join us for that one, Tessa? Yeah? Okay, we'll see you guys really soon. Cause you're a sky, cause you're a sky full of stars